Hey guys, this is Gaming 8. Today, um, this is gonna be a double upload day because I didn't expect this to happen, but Rooster Course Pass Wave 2 got revealed today, so, um, <clears throat> I'm just gonna go through, through all the, um, announcements in the trailer, try to analyze all the tracks that we got, and, um, say my general thoughts about them. But, um, if you're only gonna watch one of my videos today, definitely wait for my Mario Odyssey No Red video because this is like an unscripted video. I'm just really excited for the booster course pass so I really want to do this but the Mario Odyssey No Red video that I'm releasing today in about two and a half hours at the time of recording this that video I put a lot of effort into so please watch that one over this one if you're only gonna watch one of these videos but um yeah let's just get straight into it so I've already watched this I'm just analyzing the tracks now so, um, here's the eight tracks, if you didn't know. We've got New York Minute, Calamari Desert, Mario Circuit 3, Waluigi Pinball, Sydney Sprint, Mushroom Gorge, um, Snowland, and, um, I think it's called, I forgot what it was called already, but the new ice cream track. <clears throat> so, um, I'm gonna go through all these and analyze it. So, um, yeah, it starts off with the ice cream track. Let me just see what it's called. It's called Sky High Sunday. Okay. <clears throat> So, um, we're going to get to start by analyzing that track. You can see that there's going to be a glider ramp right here, which is cool. Helicopter area. Very good track design it's looking like. That it's going to be like a very good themed area. And wait for it. And then you can see that um, there's actually going to be anti-gravity on this track by this. If it wasn't obvious by how sloped everything was. So that's really good actually because um, if you guys didn't know... Um, Wave 1 of the Booster Course Pass had no anti-gravity in the entire thing, so it scared a lot of people, including me, into thinking that there was going to be no anti-gravity in um, the Booster Course Pass, which this proves us wrong. So hopefully the remaining passes also have a new track like this. This track is coming to tour, but it's coming to this game first, so technically if you look at it that way, you could consider it a Nitro track. So, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. There's another glider ramp there. I don't know if it's the same one or not. Yeah, it is. Okay. The, um, rotating item boxes is cool. That stair area looks a little bit finicky, but I'm sure it will be fine. Um, a lot of people have said this looks kind of like a, um, Fall Guys stage, and honestly, I'm gonna have to agree, because it, I don't know, it just looks like one. Yeah, I, I have to agree with them there, but... This track looks like it's going to be very fun and probably the highlight of Wave 2 for me. But, um, yeah. Ne next up we have N64 Calamari Desert, which, um, first thing to notice, this track actually looks pretty great for being in the Booster Course Pass. I think this track looks way better than any track we've gotten in, um, Wave 1. So, um, yeah, that's pretty exciting. Another thing you can see, I don't know if my mouse is showing or not, I don't remember if I have that option enabled or not, but... There's a glider ramp here, which shows that this is going to be the version for Mario Kart 7 and Mario Kart Tour, which, you know, we expected. But either way, thank God, because if you... The version where there is no way to get past the train and you just had to wait in Mario Kart 64, that version sucked. So, I'm glad to see that that's not a thing anymore. And, um, yeah, now even if the train is passing you, there is a way to get past it. So, um, yeah, visuals look pretty great for that track, actually. They didn't spend enough time on it, really. There's an item box there, so... I think this might be, um... The version from Mario Kart Tour, where you, um... Where you drive on the train track for, like, lap two. Maybe it will just be a two-lap track. I don't know. Maybe they'll make it two laps of... Going around the normal path thing, going on the train tracks. I don't know. We'll see. It's very interesting, though, and I'm very excited to see this track, actually. Which is interesting, because... I originally kind of didn't like this track, but um, I'm actually excited to see it here, so nice. And then next up, we have SNES Mario Circuit 3, so um, we knew we were going to get um, SNES tracks here. It's not really surprising. Nobody's really, I don't think there's too many people that really are super excited about this track. But one thing I am confused about is why did they remake SNES MC3 specifically, because that one has already returned in Wii, and there's been more people asking for Mario Circuit 1, which I think a remaster of the first Mario Kart track ever would be pretty cool, but they just decided to remake Mario Circuit 3 instead, which is already remade in Wii, so I don't know, it's confusing. 
the track will work. It's not going to be anything great, but that's kind of how the track's always been, at least in Wii. So I assume it's going to be the same here. Um, next up we have Mushroom Gorge, which I am cautiously optimistic about this one. Um, I love Mushroom Gorge, one of my favorite tracks in the entire series. Um, but Coconut Mall in the Booster Course Pass was scaled really badly. So um, I, I didn't personally enjoy the Coconut Mall remake for multiple reasons, but this looks like it's going to be a little better. My only possible issue is I still don't know how well it's going to be scaled for Mario Kart 8 which is an outside drift focusing game, unlike Wii. Um, yeah, the mushrooms seem like they'll work fine. Um, there is one problem here, you could see the, um, glider mushrooms. I wasn't personally a huge fan of the glider mushroom from Mario Kart 7 and Tour, but, you know, it's not the end of the world, it's just, it's not a huge deal, really. But, um, yeah, I'm interested to see if the gap jump's gonna be possible. I doubt it, since Lakitu's super strict in this game. But it would be really cool if the gap jump was possible, and it would definitely make me like this track a lot more. Next up, we have Tor Sydney Sprint. Um, I don't know much about this track. I don't know much about many of the Tor tracks. I didn't know much about Tokyo Blur or Paris Promenade before they were added to the Mario Kart 8 DLC. Um, don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure the track has three variants, so I'm pretty sure they're going to do a three-lap thing similar to Tokyo Blur here. Um, so I think it will be very cool. Um, I've enjoyed Paris Promenade and Tokyo Blur a lot in the in Wave 1, and I expect these to be um, the two city tracks we're getting here to be similar. Um, I just don't know much about the track right now, so um, we'll see uh, when it comes out. I think it'll be pretty great, though. There is some off-road there, so nice. Give some nice hope for some cool shortcuts. And here we go, Waluigi Pinball, the track that everybody cares about. Um, I've never cared for Waluigi Pinball as much as most people have, but I still think it's a pretty good track. Um, you can see the visuals here for Waluigi Pinball. Eh, they're fine. Um, Especially the bouncers, I think they look kind of weird in this art style, but, um, yeah, Waluigi Pinball is Waluigi Pinball. Doesn't look very super different from, um, Mario Kart DS or 7 or Tour. All the versions were kind of similar. Um, so, I, just as long as it's scaled fine, which I think it will be, I think it will be a challenging track on 200cc with the whole first half and how tight some of the turns are, which I think will be very cool. So, um, yeah, I am actually excited for this track. I think it will be a high A tier, as it's always been, in my opinion. And, um, yeah, I'm excited to see what they do with this track. I think this will be one of the tracks they just kind of port from Tor, but I'm fine with that. It's still a good track. I mean, it's not one of my favorite tracks in the series or anything, but it's enjoyable. Okay, this is an interesting one. Next up, we have Snowland, and... This track has been completely revamped. This is the track I'm the most... Um, I'm the most, um, unsure about. It could be one of the best tracks in the entire game, or it could just suck. I really don't know. Um, first thing is, you can tell there's elevation here, actually, and there's a cool little ice section here, so we'll see that. Um, goal area looks cool. Um, I'm just concerned about how slippery they're going to make the road. I think that's the main thing for me. So, let's see them driving on it. It's hard to tell, really, from this. You can kind of tell it'll be a little slippery, but it doesn't show it too bad, I don't think. <clears throat> so, I don't know. We'll see about that track. It looks very interesting. The GBA ports, have, or the GBA remakes in this game have all been amazing. I've liked every single one of them. Even Sky Garden, which a lot of people were very mixed on. But, um, yeah, next up we have... Or New York Minute. I'm pretty sure this one's the last one I haven't gone over yet. And, um, yeah, I'm excited for this track. This is one of the few Mario Kart Tour City tracks I actually know a decent amount of. There's three variants, I'm pretty sure. And if they do a, um, something similar to, once again, Tokyo Blur here, I think it could be a very fun track. Because, um, I mean, New York Minute was always one of my favorite tour tracks. Possibly because it was the first one, but... I still really enjoy it. I think it's a very good track. I'm excited to see it. Um, and I hope that it's 
I hope that it's as fun as it is in Mario Kart Tour and it compares with the other city tracks. That's really my main concern just because it's the first one. So I'm hoping it's not more basic than the other ones. But, um, yeah, that's all the um, tracks we got. Um, out of these, the ones I'm the most, or the one I'm the most excited for is, um, what is it called? Sky High Sunday. I keep forgetting that name. Yeah, Sky High Sunday, that looks like a very good track, especially with the anti-gravity. I'm very excited for that track. Um, I do want to see a few comments here, though, so <clears throat> I can see if anybody has any ideas about these tracks that I wasn't thinking of. Um, first play of Luigi and Pinball, and Mushroom Lures make whole expansion worth it. Ice Cream Track looks something like Fall Guys. Yes, I did see that comment. And I gotta agree, I've seen a couple live reactions say stuff like that also. And, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I also said that. It's really cool, and I'm excited for, um, Sky High Sunday for that reason. Not only that reason, but, you know, um, Anti-Gravity, Sky High Sunday, Mushroom Wars, New York Minute, Waluigi Pinball would still like to see new characters get added. I don't see any new characters really getting added, but we'll see. Um... It doesn't really... I mean, I don't see them doing it, even though it makes sense since characters are directly ported from Tor. I just don't see Nintendo putting in the extra effort to do that. Time Super Circuit got some love. Yeah, Snowland looks awesome. I'm cautiously optimistic for it, though, because I'm just unsure if it's going to be slippery or if it's just going to um, just not play well or something. We'll see about that one. Um... Yes, it does look a lot better than the first pass, especially Calamari Desert, and honestly, even Snowland. Yeah. Um, all the other tracks look pretty similar to their tour counterparts, but, yeah. Still has Mario Kart Tour saturation, yeah, weird single off-road problem. But, um, yeah. I'm excited for this. It's coming out on August 4th, by the way, so that's pretty soon. But, um, yeah. What would you pin... <clears throat> While Luigi Pinball had Electrodrome thrown in, I mean, yes, I could see that just because of how much effort is put into the visuals and soundtrack on both tracks, which I care mostly about the track design, so I'm hoping that's not the case. I'm hoping they're putting more effort into the track design this time around. Kind of expect Wall Luigi Pinball to just be a, um, a revamped version, or a, basically a port from the tour version, though. I... That's about what I expect. I'm glad to see more Wii tracks get in. Um, yeah, Wii Rainbow Road would be really cool. I don't think it's super likely, though, because it's not in Tor or Datamine for Tor, I don't think. One thing I did notice, that there's still no GameCube tracks, no Double Dash tracks in this game, and the Booster Course Pass, which is interesting. So, we'll see um, if that does good. Um, if they're going to get added later on, or if they're just not going to exist very commonly, and there's only going to be, like, two in the booster course pass. I don't know. We'll see. It'll... Tracks from Tor still look pretty rough. Yeah, but... Um, visuals here are vastly improved. Yeah, Calamari Desert looks really good in this, um, wave. Yeah, Calamari Desert has always been one of the most underrated tracks in the game. I disagree, but I'm excited for it still. Um, yeah... I'm excited to see what they do with Calamari Desert. If they do, like, the, um, train track thing. If you've played, um, Calamari Desert in Tor, they did something like that. They made it two laps. They made it, so the first lap, it's like the normal Calamari Desert loop, and then the second lap, you drive on the train track route, which I really like. So, it would be cool if they did something similar here. Sky High Sunday looks like an amazing course. Yeah, yeah, Um, base game on most tracks, but Silas Beach tracks. Yeah, I think... I think, um, that's about good for this video, so, um, yeah, that's all I wanted to do, I just wanted to get my general thoughts on, and, um, yeah, I'm very excited for this, so, um, yeah, guys, um, this wasn't meant as, like, a super good upload or anything, this was all unscripted, I have a much better upload coming up later today, probably in about an hour and a half by the time this is getting released, but, um, yeah, that's all I have to say, so, um, yeah, bye, guys.